I must say, I absolutely love your choice of Halloween costumes. You all look amazing. Thank you, darling. You know, you and your honey and treacle pie look like band members from the village people. I was meant to be Woody from Toy Story, but now that you mention it, you are right, Freddy. We do. My cookie dough cheesecake looks so hot as a sexy leather daddy. We should definitely get YMCA playing for you both, and we'd love to see you dance to it. That Helen can definitely be arranged. So then, let's go, for the annual Halloween party is waiting, and they are calling out our names. This party is turning out amazing. My salmon and tuna wasabi, and you look so hot as a sexy leather daddy. And you look very cute as a cowboy. My giant long stiff juicy carrot paired with two hairy kiwi fruits. <laughs> oh my god. Adam. Where did you get food related terms of endearment like that from? I don't know but Adam always makes me laugh so hard he makes my face go red every time he makes them. <laughs> oh no Catherine is in the room and she has become a work at which water. What on earth is Dave talking about? Why does he think I'm his wife? He calls Catherine a wicked witch when he throws his tantrums, so it's obvious he is mistaking you for Catherine Sabrina. Oh for the love of Betty Crocker. Dave, are you still calling me a wicked witch? Oh sweet baby Jesus jumped off a purple pony with a rubber crotch named Blessed Little Ethel from a donkey car to Bethlehem. Dave Johnny Johnson, stop it. So troublemakers, tonight is Halloween night as you all know. It's been forever since we formed as a group of troublemakers. What troublemaking do you all think we should do tonight? I think I know what we can do. Maybe we can gate crash a party and pretend we are invited guests. That is actually a very good idea Jody. We'll attend a Halloween party without anyone noticing. Maybe the dish girls if they are hosting one. Oh, before we do, can I share something cool to you all? It's a rare edition of a Goosebumps book that I had found, and I was wondering if you vilely would read it for us. Of course I will Raven. This will be very fitting for tonight. Well, the story is exactly the same as the original, but at the back, there is this ancient spell that can be chanted at the very last page. Ooh. This sounds exciting. Please read it out loud, my bubblegum flavored prime drink. Of course I will, my lentil and chickpea soup. Here we go. Caro Mario Donna Loma Molin you Carano. Um, the book is glowing. What's happening? Huh? What's happened to the lights? Why has it gone dark all of a sudden? Ah. After 10,000 years, I'm free. It's time to conquer Earth. Holy shit. Slappy the dummy is in the room. I think you must have summoned him vilely. So you kids must have been the ones who had freed me. I suppose I better thank you all. Here is a special reward from yours truly. Wait, you're rewarding us? Cool. What is our reward? Will you be granting us a wish or something cool, like one billion pounds? Oh, I'm going to give you all something much better than that all right. Hey, hey, hey. Um, that tone of voice sounded ominous. Hey. What's happening? Ha ha ha. How do you like your new reward? Being lifeless dolls? What's that you say? You want to be like that forever? Oh, don't worry. I can certainly make that happen for you all. Ha 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 ha. Now that I have broken free from my prison, I can take over wherever I am and get my revenge on my creator, Stein. Ha 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 ha.
This is a really great idea for us to find this scary looking crypt. It's so spooky, I love it. I know right, it's just perfect for tonight. I know, why don't we play hide and seek in here? Great idea. I'll go and hide and you can try to find me. I bet you won't be able to find me. Um, why has it gone so dark all of a sudden? Um, Elijah? Hey Elijah. That's not fair. I should be hiding, not you. Come out now. This isn't funny. Um, Elijah? Are you there? Hello? Elijah? Anyone? I'd have a lot of old toys and memories when Billy was just a child. Let's see what I can find. Oh? What is that? Is that some sort of doll or puppet? I never knew we had that. I wonder, does it have an on and off switch or contains battery and all? I should take a closer look. Hi, I'm Slappy. Wanna play? Oh, good grief. That made me jump. Did that doll just come to life? Maybe I should take a closer look at it. What's wrong, bitch? Too scared to play? Holy shit. The doll is alive. Yes, I am alive, but you won't be. Ha 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 ha. Oh god. I gotta get out of here. There is a haunted doll in my house. This is Sandra Smith live with breaking news two children have went missing after playing a game of hide and seek in a cemetery and a single mother claimed that a haunted doll tried to go after her. The children went missing at about 8pm in this cemetery and the mother claimed the attack took place an hour later. Police are currently investigating the situation as of right now. Fuck it right in the pussy! Oh no. It's the possessed doll. I better run. <laughs> I must say, this is a fabulous party. I know right. Halloween is my most favorite holiday of the year. Please excuse me while I go to the toilet. I won't be long. Oh my goodness. Jeremy, are you alright? Oh, I'm fine Sean. I'm just fine. Don't worry about me. Let me see your hands. Um, why do you want to see my hands? Such beautiful, wonderful hands. They are simply exquisite. Um, Jeremy, you're acting really weird. Are you okay? I must have your beautiful hands. Okay, stop. You're hurting and scaring me now. Your beautiful hands. Let go of me. Beautiful hands! Beautiful hands! Beautiful hands! Help! Jeremy Corbyn has gone berserk. Beautiful hands! Beautiful hands! Beautiful hands! you got to help me. Please help me. What's going on? Sean, are you okay? Jeremy Corbyn has gone nuts. He's acting like the character he has dressed up as. What do you mean Jeremy has gone nuts? What actually happened? I was going to the toilet, and I saw Jeremy lying on the floor. I came to check on him, then he started to act all weird, then he started to chase after me for my hands. He had been acting like Dog to Shriek, like the character he is dressed up as. Okay, um, this is a shock. 
We all know Jeremy is a kind-hearted person who would never harm an innocent person. Beautiful hands! Oh no. He's coming. Sabrina, Megan, block him, while we see what is going on with him. Beautiful hands! Beautiful Wait, hands! what is that on Jeremy's Beautiful ear? Hands! It looks like a Beautiful mind control hands! device. Someone must have planted it on him to act that way. Well, please hurry and get it off him before he gets me. Leave it to me. I'll get it off him. Okay, that is quite enough. Oh goodness. What just happened? The last thing I remember is that I went to the gents and then a strange doll popped out of the toilet and impersonated that mem. You were literally acting like Dog to Shriek, like the character you were dressed up as, and you chased after me for my hands. Just because you're dressed like him, doesn't mean you have to act like him. Okay Sean. I understand that terrorized you, but I think Jeremy is back to his senses now, so there is no need to be mad at him. Jeremy, you said the doll popped out of a toilet. Was it a skibbity toilet at all? I don't know. It acted like a skibbity toilet as it popped out of the toilet and sang its song. But it didn't look like the actual one. It looked more like a plastic doll, like a ventriloquist dummy. I actually want to talk to you all about that. I saw the news on my phone and there is actually a killer doll who had been spreading terror across the land of Viand. He turned Vali and her friends into dolls, made two children disappear, terrorized a single mother and interrupted a news report. It's Slappy the dummy from the Goosebumps universe. That explains as to why Jeremy acted like the character he dressed up as. Well then, this looks like this is a job for the Adamantiums. Come on guys, let's leave the party and put Crappy the little dummy in his place. Now to summon all the monsters from the Goosebumps books and we will rename this land called Horror Town. Karumari Odana Loma Malonu Karano. Excellent. Now then, my fellow monsters, we are in the land of Viand, and we will make it all ours. Come, for this land we shall take over. Sorry Slappy, but I'm afraid that will not be happening tonight. You are right on time Adamantiums. You are just about to witness my taking over the land of Viand party. Tell me Jeremy, did you manage to get hold of Sean's beautiful hands in the end? Ha 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 ha. I ought to make you perish for what you did to me. Give up Slappy. You caused enough terror to our land enough as it is. What? Give up? But I only just got started. What I did wasn't even the beginning. No, but what you are doing is reaching the end, and we will see to it that it's the end. Yes, it is indeed the end, the end of you, that is. My army of monsters from the Goosebumps series will see your grisly demise in no time. Beautiful hands! Okay everyone. Let's demolish them.
No i kawę będę fiaket wibra i nijac Adam. This is so on fire. Let me go. Let you go? Really? You really think I'm going to let you go after all of that? I don't effing think so. After my crew sends all of your goosebumps monsters to the Shadow Realm, we are calling the police and you can enjoy rotting behind prison bars for what you did. Okay team, call the police, and send his minions to the Shadow Realm too. I'm banishing you to the Shadow Realm. No! Much better. Slacky the dummy, I'm arresting you for the terror you inflicted to the land of Yon tonight. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defense if you do not mention one question, something you later rely on in court. Anything you do say will be given in evidence. Do you understand? Here, I have something to say to you. You don't ever know, and I mean ever know, spit in a police officer's face. That will increase your sentence for assault on a police officer. Do you understand? Well, uh, okay, Slappy, let's go. For your cell is waiting, and it's calling out your name. Slappy the dummy, you literal dummy. I cannot tell you how irate I am with you right now. I can't believe you caused a lot of terror to the land of Viand by turning Violi and her friends into dolls, making two children disappear, shouting out F her right in the P word on a news report, making Jeremy Corbyn act like Dr. Shriek and attempting to take over the land of Viand with the other Goosebumps monsters. You caused so much problems not only for yourself, but for me as well. Now I will probably be swamped with fines that would probably be more than the cost of my office where I write my books. That's it. You are grounded until the odd cast voices return to the Vian studio. And while you are grounded, you will be eating nothing but lumpy potatoes for every meal. Go and sleep on the cold hard bed, you selfish rotten toy doll. Wow. When Slappy got defeated by us, his magic had been undone. Violi and her crew were returned to normal, the two kids who played in the crypt had been found safe and sound, and they are united with their parents. Teresa, Billy's mother had to go to a psychologist because she was shaken by Slappy's attack. In time, she made a recovery. Unfortunately for Stein, because Slappy shouted out vulgar words on a news report, Stein was ordered to pay a huge fine for BBC News. And it was a big one. And as for us, we are doing just fine. In fact, we just recruited two new members to the Adam and TMs. Darren and Luke had just joined us. What a great way to celebrate Halloween. Happy Halloween to you all. Ugh. I just arrived to this prison cell and I'm already bored. I will miss my monster buddies now they are in the Shadow Realm.
If only I can get out of here. I thought being trapped in a book was bad enough. So if I am not mistaken, you are Slappy the Dummy, I presume. That would be me. What's it to you? Now don't tell me you have not heard of me. I am Alan, the leader of the Alanastians. Hold on, I know who you are now. You are one of this land's most notorious criminals. It's a pleasure to meet you. What brings you here? Well then, Slappy. I came to ask you, how would you like to join my team? You want to recruit me to the Alanastiums? Oh boy. I always wanted to join a villainous team. Yes, Alan, I am more than happy to join you. Excellent, then welcome to the Alanastiums. Now then, why are you still in prison? Let's get you out, and now... Ha ha ha!